Hey, Mzansi, there are still so many truths that are still left unfound as far as Senzo Meiwa's case is concerned. Right now, Mzansi's eyes are all over Senzo Meiwa's wife, Mandi Zankize, after his lobola plans for Kelly Kumalo as second wife has surfaced on social media. And of course, South Africans are really not having just a bit of it. Zandile Kumalo has decided to break silence and reveal much more than what was definitely definitely already reviewed and known on social media. Make sure to watch this video right up to the end. Before you do so, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit onto my post notification bell. Senzo Meiwa's murder is a hot topic as there have been so many speculations surrounding his departure from this world. Most have been clamoring for Kelly Kumalo to be the main suspect, but a recent interview of some months ago with Zandile Kumalo has turned the whole tables round. The court of public opinion has set its sight on Kelly Kumalo as being responsible for actually shooting, you know, Senzo Meiwa in the most unthinkable ways. Zandile Kumalo went on on national TV recently some months ago to share more details about the night that soccer star Senzo Meiwa departed from this world. In the interview with ENCA, Zandile Kumalo revealed that Senza Meiwa planned to take on a second wife after his first, Mandi Sankhize. Zandile says that on the night of the shooting, Ntokozisi Twala was present because he was a representative of the Lobola negotiations. Zaleb's report that Zandile as well spewed out that no one has investigated Mandisa Kize even though Senza Meiwa's mother revealed on one time that she wanted to get rid of Kelly and Senzo's relationship by any means possible. In a word, she said, and I quote, we have done the lie detector test on everything, but no one has looked at Mandisa. Why is she not being investigated? Not so long ago, Senza's mother said on TV that she tried by all means to end their relationship. She even went as far as getting muty. Zandile Kumalo actually as well continued to spread a message that Mandisa and Kize must be investigated. The singer as well shared several posts encouraging netizens to suspect Mandis and Kize in every level. A post was actually made and I quote, You wouldn't see it but she is telling the truth. The wife should have actually been the first suspect already. The wife should have been acquitted by the investigation at least but not just to look away. Zandile Kumalo's interview was an immediate trending topic. You all tell me what you think about all of this in the comment section. I love you all.